In this really small space, I create pretty much everything. Let's get started. What's up guys, here we are at my studio. I wanted to make this video just to give you a few updates on some of the changes I've made and some of the things that have made my life a lot easier right here. If you're looking for the full studio tour that I made about eight months ago, click a link up here somewhere and watch that one too. First and foremost, I have a new MacBook Pro. It's the 2018 MacBook Pro. It's a 13 inch i7, 16 gigabytes of RAM, which is upgraded from the eight gigabytes I had on the 2017 and I also now have one terabyte of hard disk space, which is double what I had before. I really needed this hard disk space because I wanna install more software, I'm testing new software, and I also have the Native Instruments Complete Ultimate collection, but I haven't been able to install the entire thing just because I just didn't have enough space. Oh, I just did a performance comparison between the 2017 and the 2018. I just uploaded that video recently another link up here. So let's talk about a few of the small changes that I've done to the studio. First of all, there is the La Metric clock slash social media updater kind of thing. It's such a cool device. I love having it here in my studio and it gives me updates when I have new views, new subscribers. It's not cheap, it's about $200, but uh, I think it just adds so much and it's fun to watch. And every time I get a new subscriber, I hear a little chime. Maybe we'll hear that in this video. If somebody new subscribes, come on guys. Next up, I've changed my keyboard and mouse. I typically don't have the laptop here on the desk. I usually have it connected with the USB-C cable and it's uh, folded down on the side over here because I use my 4K monitor instead. So I don't have access to the laptop's keyboard and trackpad. So instead, I've added a Logitech keyboard. This is the Logitech K811. I love this keyboard. It feels amazing. It has multiple Bluetooth connections on it so you can connect it to more than one laptop or your phone or iPad plus your laptop device. I think it's about $100. One of my favorite keyboards of all time. It's nice and thin too. And it kind of looks good here in the studio, right? All right, mouse. I used to have a Logitech MX Master mouse. I still love it. I have that at work. But over here in the studio, I've changed my mouse to the Apple Magic Mouse. This is the Apple Magic Mouse 2. So every time I'm in Ableton to zoom in and zoom out of the timeline view, you've got to go up the top and then drag the pointer. I don't like that as much as using the pinch gesture that a trackpad has. Now it's not built in to Ableton. You don't have have that gesture built in, but there's this cool little software called Better Touch Tool. And what it allows you to do is customize what your trackpad does, what your mouse does. You can use this with any mouse or trackpad. So now in live, I've said whenever I do a pinch in gesture, pinch in gesture and pinch out gesture, actually zoom in and zoom out. So the Apple Magic Mouse, so far I like it. I'm still using the Shure SM7B microphone. I love this thing. I've owned a uh, Sennheiser MK4 and a uh, TLM 103 by Neumann and those are great mics but this one just does something more. Wait, I have a whole video about that. I'll link to it over here, the unboxing and testing of the SM7B. I also recorded a cover of the song Psycho, uh, linked up here too. Gosh, you're gonna be clicking on a lot of links here. Maybe I'll put the links in the description below. I love this microphone, highly, highly recommend it. The next thing I added was something that really, really changed my workflow here. It's the Pack L. LC1 level controller. All it is is a volume control and it's a very small knob that you can install pretty much anywhere between your audio interface and your monitor speakers. My audio interface is installed now in the back. I don't even have to look at it ever. It's just hidden over there. And the most important thing, the volume control, which I need to touch all the time, is now right here next to my keyboard. It's just made my life so much better. This thing is like $9 or $10 on Amazon. I'll put a link to it below. There's a lot of more expensive options out there, but this worked perfectly. All right, let's talk about the software that I've added. I'm super excited about two pieces of software. Both of them are by F Expansion. One is Cypher 2. I use Cypher 2 a lot in the song that you heard in this video. That's by F Expansion. 
I also have uh, Strobe 2, which is also by F Expansion. The great thing about these two plugins is that they are compatible with the Seaboard and light pads. And by compatibility, I mean they have presets that are MPE compatible. You can just filter their preset library to MPE factory and all these sounds are now MPE controllable. Now, in addition to that, I have a couple of new pieces of software from Output. One is called Movement. Here's Cypher. Great, just typical synth. But now, once you add Movement on top of it, it gives it some rhythm. All right, so more about movement later. Also, if you haven't checked out my video about Vacuum Pro, Vacuum Pro is an awesome plugin. It was $1, I hope it still is, $1 on pluginboutique.com. It's a great synth with vacuums built in. It sounds so nice and warm. I added also by AirTech Hybrid 3. And of course, Sound Toys. I love the Sound Toys plugins. Oh man, you've heard a lot about Little Alter Boy from me, but I've also been using Filter Freak a lot. And I pretty much put Little Radiator on the master track on every song now. Decapitator is all over the place on my tracks. All right, there you go. That's a quick update on my studio. Don't forget to hit the like button and keep making the music that you love. I'll see you guys later.